So exercise number three now, we're trying to get to pick something off from the ground. So you can go into the stance position. There's also ways when we work in the frontal plane because all of these exercises for stepping can go in all directions. So you can go down and just touch the foot pad and then come back. Again, I cue the head so much. So here, even if they're having their head down, on their way up, make sure their head is the leader as they come up. They will have better balance in using their vestibular system here to right gravity or to reference gravity. So again, you can touch and come back. If they're wobbly and they're having clickers, tell them to keep those clickers quiet. Ground yourself. As you go down, I just unweighted the back clicker, push that back clicker down, and then unweight myself here. If you want to make it a little harder, I hit one clicker, I'm down there a little longer, right? I have to get a point. I can go, be down here and hit a bunch of clickers as I come down, depending on how long you want the client to stay in that. If someone has a hard time getting down to the ground, it's a goal for them to have better strength and stability to be able to pick something up and come back up to standing. Some clients will tell me that they have to hold on to something. So here's a nice way to work on as a progression. I put four foot pads of the foam foot pads. So that's eight inches that I increase the height here and they can tap here and come back. So this is just a slight tap and then come back as they get better. You can take one foot pad off and then they can get a little bit lower. So here would be tap. Again, I could just tap my fingertips. I could tap my whole hand, you know, depending on how low you want to go. And then you could take the next layer off. And as you get lower and lower until your goal is to get something off the ground.